Good morning! I know, I don't have glasses on and my hair has changed colors again. If you've been with me for a while, you know my hair always changes color. It's, it's got blue ends. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but I'm kind of liking it. And I actually curled it this morning. Cool, huh? But, let's get on with the main ingredient here. Um, if you attended my lunch party, oops, excuse me. If you attended my launch party, you should be getting your colors and your glosses today, or tomorrow, hopefully. With this holiday season, it's so hard to tell what the mail is going to do. So today I wanted to demonstrate how to put it on. Okay? I'm just going to use Giddy Up, which was my very, very, very first color I ever tried with the glossy gloss, which is what I gave you all. I didn't give you all. You know what I mean. So, yeah, let's see. Start with clean, dry lips. You know the routine. You've seen the video, right? You go over your lips in like one direction. Like with normal colors, you just you know you kind of don't do that. Just one direction and don't go over it again because then it will pick up the gloss and the gloss, the color. The gloss is the last step. I needed more coffee this morning, I'm sorry. I have to drive into San Antonio this afternoon and I am just not looking forward to that on a Friday. I planned that badly. Okay, shake it up really, really good. <clears throat> okay, first layer. One direction. I usually, you know, I, I go down on the bottom and then I go on the top and then I go on the top and then down on the bottom. So let's see if Judy can do this. When you pull the wand out, kind of like get the excess clumpies off because you don't want clumpies on your lips. Okay, here we go. Step one. Yeah. And I do have a big, huge mirror here. <sighs> Deep breath. And don't let your lips touch after you put it on because you want it to dry. And they'll stick together if you let them touch. Still working on layer one, because I yabbered. You know how I get. Come on, girls. Okay, layer one. And I let it dry. Hardest heart is not talking. Pretty nice. Do I have a mirror in the way when I do that? Hmm. Sorry about that. Layer two. Layer two takes more time to dry than layer one. And same way with layer three. I don't know if this helps. Makes you feel like I'm doing something. When I continue to shake. I don't know why. Because it's something to do. Uh -huh. Layer three. Let's see if I can keep the mirror out of your way this time. Layer three. And then you want your gloss to seal it in. Okay, let it dry though. Mm -hmm. This gloss doesn't have a shaky thing, I don't know why. I just, first I have it. Why do we do the things that we do? Good question. And again, layer three is going to take longer than the first two layers. 
<coughs> just because now you're getting it layered up there. Okay. And when you put the gloss on, you can do how you normally do, put it back and forth. Make sure you get your gloss all over, and now it's sealed. So what's the cool part? So what's the cool part about getting it sealed? You can talk again. It's not sticky. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yes, you can talk again, but you are ready to go. Now, this isn't as bright purple as, oops. This isn't as bright purple as I remember it to be. It is purple, but I sure do like the purples that they have now. This is kind of a very subtle purple. This is Giddy Up. I did that on the wrong finger. I don't want anybody to think that I'm flipping them off. Yeah, there we go. Under all this purple hair, it really is blonde. <laughs> what to <did I> tell you? <laughs> there! It's on! Oh, I'm sorry. I can't show you my straw. Because even if it did come off, I probably couldn't see it much. It's not coming off, though, even though my straw is purple. It will be put through the Starbucks test later. I guarantee that. If I'm going to San Antonio, then I'm going to need massive amounts of caffeine because it's Friday. Got to love. Yeah, traffic. Here in Texas, I don't know where you all live. Here in Texas, well, I do know where you all live. I know where most of you live. Here in, here in Texas, that was my dog. <laughs> here in Texas, we have outgrown our infrastructure. So many people have moved to the larger cities like San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, and Houston that they didn't keep up with the roads, the road sizes. Like the loop in San Antonio is uh, called 410. Well, there's two loops. There's 410, and that's the inner loop, and then there's 1604. 410, they have just increased, I think it's like four to five lanes. And it's still like bumper to bumper. 1604, when the girls were born 20 years ago, nobody, nobody used 1604. Now it's just as crowded as 410. They, the city has increased so much in population that we have outgrown our infrastructure. Austin's the same way, but they don't do they, they have a loop, I guess they call it Mopac or something, I don't know, it only go. It, it doesn't loop the entire city, San Antonio's does, but they still have bumper to bumper traffic and it is horrendous. They are trying to get more roads in there, but they say by the time they get them in there and get them finished that they will have outgrown them, which is just on a Friday afternoon, not anything we want to contemplate. So I have my lip color on, I have my hair did, um, yep, yeah, because it's going just like that. And I am off to San Antonio, Texas. I hope that when you get your color, that you try it. If you have any questions, let me know. If I can't answer them, I will find you the answer. I'm that kind of girl. Y'all know me. And then I want to see pictures. I want to see pictures of you in the great colors that you all picked out because you all picked out some wonderful pictures, so be sure to post them below. And one, our winner, if you, you didn't get lip sense color but you did get gloss let's see some pretty pictures of you in those gorgeous glosses i'd love to see those okay show off your pretty colors girls talk to you later bye oops wrong side i never did get this mirroring thing with the camera right my hair's sticking up <laughs>